I thought you were working outside. What are you doing? Uh, well, it got hot, so I decided to come in and work on some inside stuff. Um, these tomato plants need to be potted because uh, we decided to hold off on planting them in the garden until a little bit later in May, just to make sure that we didn't lose any. Uh, we lost all I could. We the ones that we planted right before the big rainstorm are not doing very well, and so I'm really nervous about planting the rest of our tomatoes and having the potential of them also getting destroyed by something. So um, we had heard from an old timer last year that he waited until, you know, kind of the end of May when things are warmer to plant his tomatoes. And because we kind of didn't listen to his advice and potentially lost the, the 32 plants that we've already planted, we're going to hold off and plant these later. So, um, I started these in soil blocks. And he told us that he waited later, but that his tomatoes usually surpassed those people who put theirs in early because he waited until the ground temperature was warmer, right. which actually just made them grow faster. Right. So he said it was actually better to wait. Right. And this was someone who worked at Baker Creek it who was. told us that. So right. yeah. a reliable source, I would say. Definitely. So um, earlier, in late winter, early spring, I started these. These are heirloom varieties. We're doing um, an experiment. If you haven't read um, my blog, I'm doing an experiment, hybrid tomato seeds versus heirloom tomato seeds. And these are the heirloom tomatoes. And this variety is called Rutgers. Uh, we are trying Bonnie Best, which I have um, a couple over here. Um, well, some of them back here are the Bonnie Vests, and some of these are the Rutgers. Anyway, so um, we're planting a bunch of those. And I, so I planted these in soil blocks, and I have a post about how to do that and and um, how, how to make an easy soil block mixture. Anyway, so as you can see, these are like ready to either go in the ground or be potted. So I'm just potting these in these really uh, inexpensive uh, pots. They're biodegradable um, using a you know an all-purpose potting soil um, so that hopefully their roots have an opportunity to grow over the next couple weeks before we put them in the ground and they can even get bigger um, and then they'll have a healthier start so that's why I'm going to it's hot outside and um, so I'm gonna wait until a little bit later this evening to go back outside and get some work done out there what's going on over here uh, well these are more seedlings that are waiting to go either in a garden or um, in pots uh, up here we have a bunch of um, pepper plants and then in the back are some more cauliflower plants. We need to plant all of the brassicas yet because I planted a bunch of the brassicas. I planted broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts and um, they all died in a frost. So I'm discouraged. So we need to redo all those. So we need to redo all of those also. Fortunately, I way over planted in hopes that I could sell these at the farmer's market and make some of my money back. Um, but I haven't done that because I want, I need to replace all the ones that we lost. So. So at least we have backups. Yeah. I mean, that's the, that's the, uh, good, that's the good side of the story. So. Uh, so I have more brassicas up here and some flowers here. I have echinacea and um, sweet william and snapdragon. So for people who don't know, what are brassicas? Oh, those are just the plant family for broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, and probably some other things that I'm not remembering. Okay. So, and then uh, down here I've got more tomatoes that I just planted, um, and then some herbs, and more herbs, and then the extra uh, hybrid tomato plants that um, I hadn't put in the garden. So we'll put these in the garden in replace of the ones that died. Um, and then I have uh, basil, regular basil, Genovese basil, purple basil, um, and then uh, other things down there that I can't really remember, but I have them written down. Um, more broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, more broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage stuff, uh, more uh, these are Arkansas Traveler uh, tomatoes. I need to plant those in the pots and then more peppers. So the peppers uh, can go in about the same time as the tomatoes. I'm uh, toying with the 
the thought of repotting those as well, but that's a lot of work, so I may just take my chances and put them in the ground. So, anyway, long story short, that's what I'm working on. All right. Uh, so, I might as well say, once I now that I have your ear, uh, please uh, subscribe, like, comment on this video, and check us out on all the social medias, the normal ones. And we do have a blog, written blog, at uh, livingtraditionsinstead.com. Okay, take, in, take care. God bless. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go ahead and hit the circle below to subscribe. And don't forget to watch uh, the other great videos that we have on our channel. Uh, we put out a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and sometimes in between too. Thanks so much and God bless.